Hey guys, Matthew here. Now, in the last video you might have noticed that I used one of these buttons that I said in a video a few videos ago that you shouldn't use. So the one I used was the box corner to corner height one. And when I click it, it allows me to draw a box. The far better way to work in Rhino is to just type things directly into the command line, which is this annoying dashed line here next to the word command. And if I move this down a bit, uh, maybe a bit more, and scroll up a little bit, um, you might notice that here it says that I use the command box to draw a box. Now if I type the word box in, it actually brings me back to the same command. So I can click, click, click again and draw another box. Now if I'm paying attention to that command line in more detail, it actually gives me a few options on how to draw a box. So looking at it again, I can, when, after I write box, the first thing it asks me for is the first corner or base. So if I type box, I can give it a corner. So I can give it uh, one, two, three, which will put a point one in the x direction, one across here, uh, two in the y direction, two across here, and then three in the z direction, three up in this direction. Because this is x, this is y, and then z is up. So if I press enter, it's there. So if we look at the top view, one across, two in the Y, then if we look at the right view where Z is up, zero, one, two, three. And then I could click again to get a random size box, but I could also type a number in for the length, because it says other corner or base length. So if I put in 10, it'll make the box 10 units in the X direction. If I type in 10 again, it'll make it 10 units in the Y direction. And if I type in 10 again, it'll make it 10 in Z. So as you can see, the command line is a really fast way of working when you know what the command names are. And we highly suggest that you use this instead of these buttons. Of course you'll use the buttons to click and understand what the commands are in the first place, but after time you should always look at the command line to see what those names are and what Rhino is asking for. A lot of the times that you're having problems with Rhino, it'll tell you what the problem is in the command line. Either A, you're not giving it exactly what it needs to run a command, or B, you might be stuck in a command and trying to write another command in that command. So make sure you're constantly reading this, because this will help you out a lot learning Rhino. See you in the next video.